so welcome to your 10th Visual Basic tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to be teaching you how to use more than one form and if you look at most programs nowadays so if you look at for example Microsoft Word or Excel they have more than one window so you have all your dialog boxes your menus your save as boxes everything like that is all in a separate form and we can do that in Visual Basic too so to create a new form we just go up to our tool strip here and you press this add new item button and then we get this window and it says all these different all these new types of windows and databases and classes and things that we can use this one you won't have this is just one that I created a while ago um, for creating like operating systems and stuff but you want to select windows form and just keep this as form 2 for now since I don't really know what we're going to do with it so I just press add and you see we've got form 2 now and form 1 now when we run this by default it's form 1 that's loading up so it's for now we want what we want to do is open form 2 so in form 1 just create a button and just make that about half the size of the form and change the text to show and then double click on this button and now we put the form name so form 2 and then dot show and then you have gotta put the brackets now if you run this and you press the, the button you see form 2 appears so we have both windows and we can go between both windows do whatever you want with them so now what if we want to hide that form but within form 1 so in form 1 we can have a button that says hide and then form 2 will hide it now to hide a form there's two different ways we can do it we can use hide or we can use close hide is basically it's going to make it invisible and close is basically going to get rid of it completely shut down that form and stop whatsoever, whatever's happening inside it so first I'm going to show you how to hide it so just copy and paste this button to duplicate it and change the text of it to hide and now inside here just double click on that button change the code so go into the code and we're going to type in form 2 dot hide and it should put the brackets automatically so if you run that now and you press show you get a form 2 press hide and it hides and when you show it it was all, it was there all that time except you just didn't see it it was just made invisible so now I'm going to show you how to close the form so just make some more space here and copy and paste this button to duplicate it make that a little bit smaller and change this to close and double click on that button and we can do form to dot close and in form 2 what I'm going to do is just create a put a text box in there so scroll down find it oops not a timer put a text box stretch it out make it multi line so now we've got a text box in there so now I'm going to prove to you that is actually hiding and not closing completely so if we show it and enter some text in here so I'm going to type in hello so hello like that and press hide and then show it again the text is still in there but if I close it and it's completely shut down that form is completely gone and I show it again you see it's appeared up here now and there's no text inside it so basically we just reset that form we can also for example like if we up here like if we press the X button we get this dialog box and if we try and click out of it you see it just keeps flashing makes a noise so we can also do that we can make a dialog box so we can do on the show button we can do form 2 dot show dialog just not in capitals like that and then if we run this now and we press the show button 
and then we click over here you see it just flashes makes a noise and it doesn't let you do anything so that's how to use more than one form and open it and close it in Visual Basic don't forget to comment rate and subscribe if you found these tutorials useful and I'll see you in the next tutorial